Hi, I'm Jonathan from Maz Ocean. Uh, we're here on a Leopard 43 sailing catamaran. We just recently took on a number of upgrades on the boat. As you'll see in front of uh, me over here is a number of new instruments that have been installed. The owner of the boat is a big Garmin fan, so he decided to go with all Garmin throughout the boat. So on the side over here, we've got your two GMI display instruments. The top one is for your depth, speed and temperature. The second one is specifically for your wind. Then in the middle over here, we've got your multifunction display chart plotter, which is a 5212. It uh, has a number of functions. You've got your charts that you can uh, use. You've got your navigation charts, which you would use when you are sailing. Uh, you've also got, uh, which is quite nice, I believe, is the perspective, the 3D. Gives you a nice sort of uh, top angle. And then one of the other things we installed on this boat is uh, the XM weather, which uh, gives you various options in terms of weather, precipitation, through to sea conditions, etc. It's even a fishing uh, setting here as well. <clears throat> on the other side, we've got your GHC-10 autopilot uh, head unit. We had to replace the entire autopilot system. The only thing that we kept the same was the drive unit, but all the other components were replaced with the Garmin system. One of the nice things that Garmin have just come out with is the remote control for the autopilot system. Real simple to connect, there's no extra cables or routers or anything like that. It's just simply putting in two AA batteries and you set it up and it works from anywhere on the boat really nice little add-on not too expensive this is part of the electronics installation with the new Garmin systems everything is the NME A2000 uh, system so basically it's uh, quite a user-friendly system in terms of installation and it's very easy to expand on your system so as you can see it's made up of a backbone which consists of backbone cables as well as your T's then your drop cables that run to the various instruments and uh, transducers etc. So as you can see we've got quite a serious backbone going here with a number of different instruments and transducers coming off the system. The yellow cable is your power cable which as you can see goes into a fuse block over here. Your fuse block is then powered off the house batteries which is connected to a bus bar down in the bottom. And all of this is turned on with the breaker and uh, that powers up your fuse block over here. What you can see is you've got your two ends of this section of the backbone. The one end runs all the way to your wind transducer at the top of the mast. So that forms the end of your backbone on the one side. On the other side runs down to your smart transducer which is the DST800. It's uh, a speed, temperature and depth transducer. So on one end of your backbone you've got your depth and the other end you've got your wind. And the rest of this makes up your chart plotter, your GMIs, your autopilots, uh, your XM weather and your GPS etc.